Hello, dear children. Today, let us do third chapter of social and political life. The name of the topic is what is government? Government means the group of people with the authority to govern a country or state, a particular ministry in office. We can say that means it is a particular ministry in office or the group of people with the authority to govern country or state. You must have heard the word government voice mentioned several times. In this chapter, you will learn about what a government is and the important role it plays in our lives, in our day-to-day -day life. That means what important role does this government play? You will learn about it. What do governments do? How do they decide what to do? What is the difference between different types of governments such as monarchies and democracies? Read more and find out. So we are going to discussing about the government children. See some headline given here. First one, government sought to protect rights of unorganized workers. Second, detailed plan to tackle floods soon, says government. Third one, government fixes prices of onions, says no shortage in market. Fourth one, Supreme Court can have five more judges said by government the next one go for revamping coal and power sector revamping means give new and improved form structure or appearance to coal and power sector then the last one is over 15,000 villages declared scarcity hit by government so here some questions to the left margin of this page it has given look at the newspaper headlines above and list the different kinds of activities that the government is reported to be doing in this newspaper headlines so these are the headlines of newspapers you know, of newspaper voice which has given above here different kinds of activities or works that the government is reported to be doing in this newspaper headline. The first one, in the first headline, we find that government sought to protect rights of unorganized workers. Then second headline, government met a detailed plan to tackle floods soon, says government. Okay. So likewise, different headlines it has given. Every country needs a government to make decisions and get things done. Every country needs what a government in order to make decisions and get things done. This can be decisions about where to build roads, and schools or how to reduce the price of onions when they get too expensive or ways to increase the supply of electricity so boys every country needs a government in order to run the means uh, or make the country progress in every way to make decisions and get things done so government is necessary here 
this can be decisions about where to build roads and schools it can be as example decision to make or that means uh, uh, decision to about where to build roads and schools or how to reduce the price of onions when they get too expensive expensive means costing a lot of money boy or ways to increase the supply of electricity in different matter that means government has to make decisions the government also takes action on many social issues for example it has several programs to help the poor the government they also take different actions on many social issues like mm, it has several programs to help the poor it does other important things such as running postal and railway services apart from that government also do other important things as example running postal and railway services like this the government also has the job of protecting the boundaries of the country and maintaining peaceful relations with other countries government they also has the job in order to protect protect our country and protect the boundaries of our country and maintain peaceful relation with other countries so it is the duty of government it is responsible for ensuring that all its citizens have enough to eat and have good health facilities so it is also responsible for ensuring that ensuring means make certain that all its citizens have enough to eat and have good health facilities towards say food of the people and health care of the people towards that also government has to look when there are natural disasters like the tsunami or an earthquake it is the government that mainly organizes aid and assistance for the affected people she when uh, there are natural disasters the natural disaster disasters means catastrophe that cause great damage or loss of life which cause that means great damage or loss of life that is called disasters so disasters such as tsunami or an earthquake it is the government that mainly organizes aid and assistance for the affected people so it is the government that mainly they used to organizes aid they used to give different aid and assistance to those people who are affected by disasters apart from the tsunami earthquake many disasters flood droughts like that also happen at the time it is the duty of our government to give financial assistance or any other that means thing any other help to those people who are affected by the disasters or any type of uh, natural calamities if there is a despite or if someone has committed a crime we find people in a court so if there is a dispute or if someone has committed any uh, crime charged with or find guilty of an offense at the time you find people in a court courts are also part of the government so our courts whether it is 
supreme court or high court these all are also part of the government perhaps you are wondering how governments manage to do all this okay you are, that means perhaps you feel curious here how this government they are managing to all this work and why it is necessary for them to do so and why it is necessary for them in order to do like that when human beings live and work together there needs to be some amount of organization so that decision can be made when human beings they live and work together at the time there needs to be some amount of organization some amount of organization it is needed because only government cannot complete or fulfill all the work so that decision can be made in order to make any decision some organization okay some amount of organization is also required some rules have to be made that apply to everyone so some rules that need we have okay it is uh, uh, so that it can apply to everyone for example there is a need to control resources and protect the territory of a country as example we can say there is a need in order to control resources different resources which we are using okay so we need here to control these resources resources means anything which satisfy our needs that is called resources and protect the territory of a country and in order to protect our country okay from that means our enemy so that any outside the any outsider could not come and attack us or harm us so here we need protection also so people can feel secure so see uh, if such thing has done protection is uh, good protection is there then obviously people they can feel secure here they secure here means they feel here safe and it is necessary in order to make people feel secure governments do this on behalf of their people by exercising leadership and government they perform this on behalf of their people it is on behalf of the people people means we the people boy by exercising leadership taking decisions and implementing this among all the people living in their territory so taking in order to take that means decisions and to implement this among all the people who are living in their territory uh before starting this levels of government boys have a look the left margin at the bottom some examples of institutions that are part of the government she here the supreme court the indian railways and bharat petroleum so here these are the these are some of the examples of institutions they are also part of our government such as the supreme court the indian railways bharat petroleum etc etc levels of government now let us see different levels of government now that you know that the government is responsible for so many different things can you think of how it manages to do all this 
see now here you know that the government is responsible for so many different things they are responsible for many many things in our country can you think of how it manages to do all this can you think boys how they are managing to do all these things the government works at different level they used to function their work they used to do their works in different level at a different levels different levels like at the local level at the level of the state and at the national level so these are the different levels here one is at the local level then the next one is at the level of the state and at the national level the local level means in your village town or locality the place where you are living boy so that is called local level town or locality okay village town or locality it may be village or town or locality then the second one the state level would mean that which covers an entire state like haryana haryana or assam or manipur and the third one is national level relates to the entire country national level means the whole country okay uh second one we got here uh, first one we got it belongs to village level town level or locality the second one it belongs to state level entire state any particular state like that as example haryana or assam or our manipur and the third one is national level it belongs to all nation it relates to entire country see the maps boys uh here you can see the map what it talks here you will uh later in this book you will read about how local level government functions and when you go into the next few classes you will learn about how governments function at the state and central level later in this book you will read about what how local level government local areas how this government they are doing their work okay how they are functioning and when you go into the next few classes there you will find what there you will learn about how government function at the state level and central level let us see the next page and this page administrative division 2011 in the year 2011 was published like that so a different division for the purpose of administrative here it is mentioned different states like that here boy see uh, at the bottom of this page number 30 shows okay that means uh, from where that means it has brought and that means drawn here and then not she not telangana became the 29th state of india boys remember we have studied there are 28 state but 29th state also existed and this 29th state is telangana became the 29th state of india on 2nd june 2014 after the recognition of the state of andhra pradesh okay here uh telangana became the 29th state of india on the 2nd june 2014 after the 
रिकॉग्निजेशन ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश सिंस थर्टी फर्स्ट अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड द स्टेट ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर वाज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू यूनियन टेरिटोरीज ओके मस्ट रिमेम्बर दिस वन ऑल्सो सिंस थर्टी फर्स्ट अक्टूबर टू द स्टेट ऑफ और जम्मू एंड कश्मीर वॉज डिवाइडेड इंटू टू यूनियन टेरिटोरी दे आर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड लद्दाख जम्मू एंड कश्मीर वन एंड लद्दाख अंडर वन ओके सो दैट मैट बी नॉट इन योर बुक ओके इट इज न्यू एडिशन बॉयज सो यू मस्ट नो दिस वन ऑल्सो now let us see laws and the government rules and the government okay the government makes laws and everyone who lives in the country has to follow this government they used to make laws they used to make rules boys and everyone every individual who lives in a, in the country they has to follow these rules whatever rules made by government whoever living in the country they need to follow those rules this is one of uh, this is the only way governments can function remember if everyone follow the rules then government can function properly boys so everyone we must be in rules or laws whatever that means laws made for us we have to follow them just like the government has the power to make decision similarly it has the power to enforce its decision just like is the government they has the power to make decisions in the same way the government has the power to enact or to uh, utilize its decisions in a proper way for example there is a law that says that all persons driving a motor vehicle must have a license as example you see here boys there is a law which says that all persons who are driving a motor vehicle they must possess or have a license any person caught driving a vehicle without a license can either be jailed or fined a large sum of money as law already made here without license no one can go for driving a motor vehicle so as law is here so any person caught who is driving a vehicle without a license he can be sent in jail either in jail or a large sum of money can be fined on him okay it is law boys our that means country's law so without having any license never you also you try to go for a driving this is against law boys you must try to be a good citizen of the country so whatever law is there you have to follow these laws it is for our own betterment boy without these laws the government's power to make decision is not of much use so if there is no such laws then the government's power to make decision is not having much use
in addition to any actions that governments can take there are also steps that people can take if they feel that a particular law is not being followed apart from that okay in addition as pass that means to any actions that governments can take here there are also steps several steps are there that people can take if they feel that a particular law is not being followed so it is our duty also by the way here that people can take if they feel that a particular law is not being followed if a person feels for example that they were not hired for a job because of their religion or caste he or she may approach the court and claim that the law is not being followed as example as you can see here if a person feels okay that they are not hired for a job they are not that means appointed for a job it is because of their religion or caste in such situation or condition he or she may approach the court okay so for his or her right he or she can go to the court and claim that the law is not being followed and you she can claim to the court in front of judges that the law is not being followed the court can then give orders about what should be done so in such situation our court can then give orders about what should be done okay so that that means no one is affecting here so let's stop to here thank you all